President Rodrigo Duterte orders the arrest of the owner of Mighty Corporation for, in his words, economic sabotage. The company is facing a potential 1 billion peso tax evasion case over the use of fake cigarette tax stamps. Chief Presidential Legal Counsel Sal Panelo says Duterte gave the order after he revealed to cabinet officials that he once received a box full of cash from Mike Corporation. Duterte says the supposed bribery attempt happened when he was still Davao City Mayor. When I was mayor, hindi naman, wala namang sinabi, basta iniwan lang. Uh, may hiningi, ako, sabi ko, I am not into it. Pero pag tindig niya, uh, may naiwan doon na parang, hindi naman, wala, wala namang bribery, kasi wala namang sinabi. Gratis. Pinahabol ko kay Bong. Pero yung tindig na ng aid ko, uh, pera, sabi ko, ihabol mo kung saan yung gagawin yan. So, nahabol niya sa aeroplano mismo. Dabaw. Panelo says Mighty Corporation President Alexander Wong Chu King was boasting he can buy off all the officials in our country. Wong Chu King is earlier seen at the National Bureau of Investigation Tuesday afternoon to meet with NBI officials. He also meets with Justice Secretary Vitaliano Aguirre. His lawyer says Wong Chu King is ready to cooperate with the authorities. The tobacco company earlier denied the allegations that it used fake tax stamps on its cigarettes. Mighty Corporation is the oldest cigarette maker in the country. Malacanang on Tuesday, Defense Foreign Affairs Secretary Perfecto Yasay Jr. as being open and transparent on questions about his United States citizenship. After several of Commission on Appointments members said they're sure to reject Yasay's appointment when he faces them on Wednesday. Yase admitted he owned an American passport but insists he was never an American citizen. This after several months of denying he owned an American passport, including one under oath before the CA. Presidential spokesman Ernesto Abella says, quote, Secretary Yase already made a statement. It was logical, credible, open and transparent. CA members in the Senate say they believe Yase was indeed a U.S. citizen despite his denials. The House contingent in the CA is thinking of rejecting Yase's appointment. But Yase on Tuesday says he didn't lie in his CA testimony. I just would like to assure everyone that I have never lied in my testimony and I will continue and reiterate on the same statements that I've made. But I would hope that uh, everyone would be fair uh, in not accusing me of lying because I never lied. Ombudsman Conchita Carpio Morales on Tuesday says former Budget Secretary Butch Abad will be charged with usurpation of legislative power for the implementation of the Disbursement Acceleration Program. DAP or DAP was a program initiated in 2011 by the Aquino administration to boost the economy by transferring unused funds for slow spending projects to fast ones. Parts of DAP were declared unconstitutional by the Supreme Court. Morales says Abad unlawfully encroached on the powers of Congress when he authorized the creation and the implementation of DAP during the Aquino administration. She adds Abad effectively modified the provisions on savings in the 2012 General Appropriations Act when he issued the circular that created DAP. Abad is also found guilty of simple misconduct and ordered suspended for three months. But since he's no longer holding office, he's ordered to pay a fine equivalent to three months' worth of salary. The complaint over DAP was filed against Abad and former President Noy Noy Aquino, but the Ombudsman dismissed the charges against Aquino for lack of jurisdiction. The United States military deploys an anti-ballistic missile defense system to South Korea, following a string of missile tests by Pyongyang. This after North Korea on Monday launched four missiles, which it said was part of training for a strike on U.S. bases in Japan. Three of the missiles came down provocatively close to Japan. South Korea and the U.S. agreed last year to install the Terminal High Altitude Area Defense System, which China repeatedly denounced as a threat to security in the region. The Philippines strongly protests the upcoming episode of the American TV series Madam Secretary about a fictional unconventional new president of the Philippines making a pass at the U.S. Secretary of State. Next Sunday. The Madam Secretary episode set to air on Sunday features a fictional Philippine president, Dato Agrada, making improper advances toward another fictional female character, U.S. State Secretary Elizabeth McCord. McCord ends up punching Andrada in the face. In a statement, the Philippine Embassy says, quote, while Madam Secretary is a work of fiction, it tracks and mirrors current events. 
it is therefore inevitable that its depiction of world leaders will have an impact on how its audience views the real personages and the countries they represent. It also calls on television network CBS to take the necessary corrective actions in view of the injurious effects that the episode will have on the Philippines. The episode comes amid negative international publicity for the country over the Duterte administration's war on drugs. The real-life Philippine President Rodrigo Duterte has also been accused of disrespecting women. He joked about the rape of a missionary and catcalled a female reporter.